Hey friends, this is Beer After Bedtime. My name is Tom Meyer, and tonight we are drinking Kitten's Mittens from Cool Sean Brewing. Let's get to it. Hey friends, the kids are down, the monitor's on, and tonight we're trying Kitten's Mittens, and we're going to talk about why I have nine strollers. So first off, Let's get some beer in us, huh? All right. So, this is Kitten's Mittens. It's our beer tonight. It's a winter ale made by Cool Sean Brewing in Bellingham, Washington. Uh, it's got an ABV of 8% and 35 IBUs. Now, cool Sean says it's the perfect beer for those cold months. Uh, this rich, medium-bodied beer elicits nuances of chocolate, dates, and figs, balanced bitterness, and playful hop aroma, fit like a mitten. Oh, sounds cute. So, that's what we're trying tonight, and here she is. Very, very dark. Uh, so we're looking for chocolate, figs, um, IBU of 35, so I wouldn't consider that too high. Uh, bitterness shouldn't be a major presence, so let's try it out. All right, here we go. Okay, I can definitely pick up the hops. Uh, it's good. It's got a nice foamy head on that. Very, very dark. I cannot hardly see through that stuff. Uh, so, good. That's nice. It's sweeter than I thought it would be. It's definitely, I'm definitely picking up like the fig, which is sort of a, a sweeter, a little bit of a spice there. Uh, not bitter at all, but that, that 35 IBUs is a bit surprising. Um, there's a bit of bitterness on the back end there. A bit, but this is really smooth. This is a good, I could definitely picture this. This would be like a fall, a fall afternoon for me. Like uh, we just finished raking the leaves. Uh, the grass is completely clear even though we know that the wind is going to come in and bring more leaves tomorrow. Uh, but it's good. Uh, you kick back, light a fire, you know, a nice little, little bonfire. There's people talking about maybe, maybe getting some marshmallows together. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, so the drink or no drink, definitely going to finish this, hands down. I mean, I doubt we'll run across a beer that I won't finish, but I don't know, we'll see. Would I buy more of it? Absolutely. Um, hands down, this is, this is some delicious stuff. Uh, it is my sister-in-law's favorite, which is how I came by this particular can, uh, but I would, I would not hesitate to purchase this stuff again. Now, I'm in Washington State, so this is sort of a homegrown thing for me, uh, although around here they've definitely been pushing um, higher IBU, um, damn, what am I trying to think? Uh, higher IBU um, IPAs, uh, and I'm not really a big bitterness guy, uh, but I like this. Uh, again, like 35 IBUs, not too much. 8% uh, will definitely help me get to sleep after bedtime. Yeah, I'd go for it. That might not last out the episode. Okay, so let's talk strollers. So I didn't think I had a lot of strollers till I sat down to write this whole thing out, uh, but my count comes to three double strollers, a jogging stroller, two umbrella strollers, uh, a single stroller, and a car seat caddy stroller. So that's that's eight total, uh, plus another two, ten, if you count the ones that live at my in-laws and um, sister-in-laws place. So yeah, now I feel like some sort of crazy stroller ho hoarder. Stroller hoarder. Blah. If I get ambitious, I'll post a pic of what they all look like in a big old lineup, but Trust me, we did not go out and buy all of these. Uh, we got a lot of them from consignment, uh, sidewalk drops, and free ads online. Uh, definitely searching up Craigslist if you're looking for baby stuff. Uh, daily, I use one, maybe two if I'm going somewhere crazy with the kids. Uh, the daily is a double side-by-side -side from Bob. It has 12-inch inflated tires and can hop most curbs. Uh, it's got a good basket for stuff, but no like cup holders, not that you'd get to drink a beer there. But we don't have sidewalks in my area, so 
you definitely need something with uh, big bad boy tires. And I got two kids, a two-year-old and a five-year-old, so I do get to put both of them in there and push them around for an hour, uh, which is good because it gives my wife uh, an hour of peace. Uh, other notable strollers in our combo are uh, a tandem duo, which is pretty sweet because the youngest one has grown up fast. Uh, it matches up with a portable car seat, so you can transfer them back and forth uh, into a, a sit and stand option for the older one. So she can either stand and watch what's going on while he's sitting in there, uh, or she can sit back and, and relax. Uh, but most of we use the Bob because uh, Bob's a big boy. You need a big boy around here. Uh, honestly, I think inflated wheels are the best because they work well everywhere you go. Uh, like with most kid things, you know, look for deals online. Uh, on consignment is great because you know that another parent is getting some money for that. A business is being supported by that. It's pretty good. Uh, check out online or honestly, I found a lot of stuff just on the curb cruising around. You know, I mean, consignment's best because parents do want to recoup some of that cash. And there are deals to be had out there, you know. I mean, your kid is going to smear PB&J all over that thing. So, trust me, you're going to feel better if you paid 50 bucks for it instead of 200 Yikes. All right, friends. Well, thank you for joining me. Learning about my crazy 8 to 10 strollers, depending on how many you count. Next time, we're going to have Holiday Cheer from Shiner. So if you can pick one of those up, feel free to taste along with me. Oh, no, no. My wife drank the Shiner. All right, friends, thanks for joining me. Next time we are going to have banana bread beer, which is by Eagle Brewing uh, in Bedford, UK. So if you have a chance to pick anything like that up, uh, feel free. and You can taste along with me. Until then, finish your beer, get some sleep.